Hello. Hello. Go ahead, Henry Brandy. Well, uh, let me just say that, um, you know, we've obviously made a selection of Roy Hibbert with the 17th pick uh, from Georgetown. Uh, really just a, a very nice young man. He's going to make a fine NBA player. Uh, there's been a lot of speculation about uh, a trade. And uh, unfortunately, I know it's, it's sort of hot topic right now, but unfortunately, I'm not in a position to uh, comment on trade speculation. And um, you know, I'd be happy to you know answer some questions about the first round, talk about you know the the flow of the draft thus far. But uh, I probably need to cut this off. Got to get back in there. We're still monitoring the the status of the first round and and where picks are. And there's a couple of picks late that we've been talking about uh, you know pursuing and and some other pieces. But um, that's uh, that's really it right now. Any questions? Um, where would Hibbert rank uh, of the players available at 17? Was, yeah. your, was Hibbert your preferred choice? Well, we actually um, you know, had a, a pretty good uh, feel of where, say, the top 15 or so players uh, were going to go. There was, as I kept saying uh, throughout the last week or so, there was about 13 players that we had that we thought, without question, would be off the board by 17. All 13 of those were off the board. Uh, the first center that we had uh, rated in that area that we thought might uh, have a chance to, to get to 17 was uh, Robin Lopez. And uh, I think what ultimately happened, um, you know, Gallinari went six to New York. Ultimately, that pushed uh, Brooke Lopez down to New Jersey. And when Brooke was available to New Jersey, uh, they took uh, perhaps the more higher rated or highly rated uh, of the two brothers. And, uh, you know, at some point we knew uh, Lopez would be off the board. So there's several other center prospects that we had talked about. Hibbert was one of those players. But uh, you've got to look at uh, McGee and Ajinka. And I think Ajinka just went, if I'm not mistaken, as I was walking here. Uh, so, you know, Spates was a, a big power forward, uh, probably a little bit of a small five prospect that uh, went at 16 where we thought he – he was pegged. Uh, so I guess I, I, what I'm saying is the draft has pretty much unfolded the way that we felt it was. There's been a couple of surprises. Uh, you know, Westbrook went a little bit higher, but in recent days we did feel like, uh, you know, that was going to happen. But once again, he was one of those 13 names that was so-called off the board in our scenario. So, so if the draft went the way you wanted, was Hibbert the guy you wanted at 17? Uh, what you expected yeah. was Hibbert the guy you wanted at 17? Well, um, I'm not going to, uh, you know, get into, again, rating everybody as, as we've had them uh, rated in the process. But uh, Lopez was probably, you know, the first center that, that we had rated. Okay, anybody else? And, uh, you know, I'll be happy to come back. Um, at, at the present time, uh, we do not have a second round pick with respect to, uh, you know, uh, an official pick in, in the second round. And, if there's anything else uh, to announce tonight, um, you know, we'll certainly, you know, get you back here. But uh, I, I really don't anticipate anything significant. Okay. Thank you very much. Again, the, the first round is still continuing, so I'm going to get back there, monitor it, and, and chase some of these picks that we've been talking about. Okay. Thank you very much.